out or do your silent praise, if you got to uh, go someplace and dance and wave your hands, give God the glory and the praise. Well, I want to let you know the best way to praise God is to get up and live for him. Get up and be an example for him. Be a living witness and a living testimony. 1 Corinthians 6.20 says, For you are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit with your God's. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, Whether therefore ye eat or, or drink or whatsoever you do, do it all to the glory of God. So after you're done shouting and after you're done praising and after you're done dancing, get up and live for God. And show people that he is God by the change that has happened in your life. Oh, churches, bow your heads and close your eyes with me. And just imagine Jesus standing in this sanctuary with his arms wide open saying, Jesus is in the house today. And he's saying, because I'm here, something exciting can happen in your life. I have forgiven you of your sins. And I can remove the paralysis. I can detach you from the things that have you paralyzed. But I'm calling you to action. You've got to get up and walk. Your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed. And you are imagining Jesus saying that to you today. I'm here. Your sins are forgiven. Now get up and walk. I'm here. Your sins are forgiven. Now get up and walk. No more excuses. Go grab someone else who's paralyzed and bring them to me so that I can forgive their sins and give them the ability to walk as well. I'm here. Your sins are forgiven. Now get up and walk. Christ is calling us to action today. If you hear the words of God speaking to your life and it's your desire to get up and walk, I'm asking you to stand wherever you are right now. You're saying, Lord, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take action. I'm going to pick myself up because you've given me the ability. I am no longer paralyzed. I've got no more excuses. I'm going to get up and walk. a very simple appeal perhaps you hear the message but you still feel stuck in paralyzing situations <laughs> and you say oh, I enjoyed the message and it speaks to me but, but I'm still wrapped up it's more complicated than that pastor I need you to slip out of the aisles and come a little closer to the altar today that you might be included in this prayer. Seeing there's stuff that's really got me bound. Stuff that is on my mind heavy. Some things in my life that I just don't know. I just don't know. If that's you, you're moving out of the aisles and you're coming closer to the altar. Because you are asking God to really break you free. To be that all-powerful solvent that uh, uh, breaks away uh, uh, the, the, the bind of anything that has you stuck to it. So, so that you might be free. You're praying with me now, Father in heaven. We are standing because we are declaring that we are going to rise up and walk say thank you for forgiving us of our sins how much we owe you our words cannot express our gratitude that that burden has been lifted that our sins no matter what we've done have been forgiven Lord thank you Jesus you didn't just take an eraser or white out you ripped up the page with our sins and you threw it in the sea of forgetfulness never to be retrieved again and you gave us a new slate 
Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving us of our sins. But now, Lord, we stand and we're grateful that you've given us the ability to walk. We're going to take action. We're going to move from this point forward. But Lord, there are individuals who have come closer to the altar because the things they're dealing with, these things, Lord, need your all-sustaining power to break them free and to grant them deliverance. So, Lord, we pray right now that your Holy Spirit would cover them, that your angels would be all around them, that you would speak to their heart, that they would follow you, Lord. Give them the strength and the courage they need when they're away from church and the emotion of the day has died down. When the devil is in their face on Monday and, and his imps are pulling at them on Tuesday, Lord, send your angels to kick them to the curb and to give your children strength. That they might indeed rise up and walk. Break the chains that have them bound, we ask and pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray all these things. And we all say amen.